Good morning, everybody, and welcome to a review of Okada Gals are Super Adorable. Now, <clears throat> we're on episode seven, and I got a chance to watch it last night after work. So I woke up this morning, wanted to talk about this again before I go back to work again. So I want to get this out the way. So last week, we got to see the debut of Rena, who's the most who's one of the most popular white hair girls we have seen these days. You know how rare to talk about a white hair girl in anime? I mean, there's a lot, but Rena this year kind of take it. Okay, anyway, this was one of those pressure moments where Tsubasa had to score in the top 10, otherwise he moves to Tokyo. So the pressure was on him. The pressure was on him. He had to take this test, otherwise it's out the way. Now, he'd been distracted throughout these these six episodes so far. He has been, well, the first six, he has been distracted with, with all these gals, you know. How lucky can you be? I mean, yeah, he made gals happy. He, yeah, he made gals happy. He likes the snow. He likes the mom, Manami's mom, but still... But still, his development is getting there in some degree. Some, not all. But I want to get this out the way before I even forget this. So without further ado, let's get right to it. The whole Cow of Gals or Super Adorable Episode 7 review. Whew. Okay. Subasa. Let me start, start off by saying this. I don't hate him, hate him. I don't hate him, hate him. But he is very, what's the word? Distracted. Very unorthodox distracted. Like, don't get me wrong. He wants to study. I mean, he's studying real hard. But this guy has never called Minami about anything. He's not calling Minami about the studies. He's not calling Minami about, about Rina Senpai or Rina, whatever you call it. Not even calling, not discussing anything to to her about this. And it's pissed me off. This was, this episode really kind of pissed me off a little bit because this guy is studying to be in the top 10. I get that. And he don't, and he doesn't want to be distracted by the other gals. I get that. But there's come, but you got it. But he did not tell Minami everything that's going on. He should be saying something to her about... Oh, hi, I'm studying. I can't because I got to be in the top. Like, come, tell your reasons why. And then Minami seeing Subasa and Rina talking, talking to each other. You know, it, she she idolized Rina. And Rina's the pure one. Like, out of all three gals here, I don't really have a least favorite. I don't have a least favorite. Like, like, I, like. But at least favorite, I'm talking about like I look at her and I say, "Oh, she's she sucks." I look at her and I say, "Oh no, she's my least favorite." I, like that, these three gals that I'm seeing so far, I don't have, I hate, I don't have like, I don't like you, I don't like you, I don't like you, no. And Rina Senpai, you know, as pureness as it is, trying to help Subas with her with his studies. His studies get so good, so good to a point where Rina Senpai was like, "Hey, if you, hey, if you score in the top ten, we'll go on a date." That's where the draw line in the sand. This is where it gets serious. This is where it gets mega serious right now. When Rina asked him, um, when Rina said, "Oh, you score this, you score in the top ten, you get, you go on a date." That's kind of like fueled him. Yeah, yeah, she helped him with his studies. And overall, as a result of that, he is he's in the top three. He made the top, well, yeah, he top 10, but he made he made the third. Now everyone else study, you know, they did okay. You know, sorry, she did a 76. Minami got like a hundred and forty-eight something. I mean, they tried. They tried. But Subasa was really under pressure. I mean, he was ranked third. Now he has to go to a date with Rena. But here's where not what this episode's mostly about. I mean, yeah, it was about Subasa studying and all that. 
and him and Rena going on a date. But here's where this episode kind of like, you know what? This is opening up more. And that's what it is when it comes to rom-coms. It's always like we see the guy in so many harem situations that we sometimes forgetting with the main girl and her purpose and the feelings that she get towards the guy as the development of a cr the crush on a guy. So we look at Manami in this episode. It's like there are times we've seen her happy, sad, gullible. She cried one time. This is where the development is in the alignment that in this alignment of Manami's feelings. Now she's it's it's not like we know that she, it's not like we're surprised that she has developed that she developed a crush on Subasa, but you see Subasa feeling I mean you see Manami's feeling going there. I mean like she her heart like this, like she feels something. I mean she tried to go to the library and see where he's at. You know, it, he sees she sees the the writing on the wall. And for Su and for Manami, you know, she feels there's she knows that she has a crush on Subasa. It's like we're not we're not surprised. I see it and you see it. It's right there. And we knew that coming to this episode. We knew we knew from the beginning that there was gonna be some love connection going on with those two. And Manam and Subasa shows it. Manami, we see it, but in not ways like her. This is more like she feels like boom 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 boom. Like she feels it in her. She feels it. Now, when it comes to rom-coms, there's always, always a misunderstanding. So, you guys remember the bet? We not go on a date with Subal if he scores in the top. Okay, he scores the top. He's now, he's now in the top. I mean, he's now going on. He's hanging out with Rena, and the mom, the mom. <laughs> you know. I can't hate the mom. I can't hate Manami's mom. Not one bit. How many of you guys would have done the same thing? If you had a parent like her. Or yeah, if you had a parent like her. And you're at home. And she send you and she texts you about. Oh, did you see Subasa going on a date thing? Like, how would you feel? If your mom sends you a text. And tells you. Hey, I saw this going on with this. How would you respond? That's how it, the, the, you know, the, that, that's how it is. That's how it is. I'm like, yo, <laughs> can I take a break? Again, this was a misunderstanding. Like all room comes, this is a misunderstanding. So now Minami sees on the phone and her reaction is just like, oh, no, with a girl? I'm like, oh my God. Now, again, overall though, this was a good episode. I mean, I'm not saying it was perfect. This was a good episode. Now, I do have a little bit of hate. Not a big hate, but a little bit, a little hate on Tsubasa this episode. Because of the fact that he kept this secret to Minami, studying, studying with Rina. They didn't even ask her, can you study, you want to study with me or Rina? They didn't even ask. And I get it. He wants to, he wants to stay focused on being in the top 10. I get that. But you, but for him to not tell him, uh, Minami about Rena, about Rena, and not telling her about studying, like, hey, you want to study with us? You know, he didn't do all of that. So as a result of that, I'm kind of like a little bit disappointing in him because he should have told her. She, he should have told her. Like, uh, like you're hurting her feelings. You're hurting Minami, the first gal you ever seen, the first girl you ever had to crush on. But you're ignoring everything, and that's what pissed me off about that. That's what pissed me off. Sorry, my voice is a little, little not crazy loud. I mean, I would have been loud, but it's in the morning time. You know, people are still working. People are going to get to work like myself. But that's how I feel at this moment. So I look forward for the next week's episode of Hokata Gals, who's super adorable. Let's see where this goes. And uh, I don't know how Minami's going to react. I mean, I still have her react, but I don't know how, what she's going to do after. Maybe she'll get ready, go see him. I don't know. We'll see. So I look forward for next week's episode of that.